Hello, Wisecrack Nation and YouTube community. This is your boy Navi here, coming at you out of the Speed Force with a new episode of The Flash. So far, we've made it to Season 5, Episode 21, The Girl with the Red Lightning. This is the penultimate episode before the season finale. I wonder what Gracie is going to do now that she has Cisco's failed metahuman cure samples and the tech stolen from Caitlin's mom's laboratory. We know she's going to get into some destruction and want to kill all metahumans, but is that going to be possible with Flash and Excess and Team Flash to stop her? Let's find out. Well, it seems it's the final countdown for Eobarthon as time runs out on his timer in the jail cell in which the guards come in and torture him before getting ready to put him to death with his own lightning. It seems kind of ironic, but if that's the way he has to go, then that's the way he has to go. And now it seems that once again, Gracie is talking to herself or talking to her Uncle Orlin mentally through the illusion that he's still alive in her mind as the original Cicada. In which case, not only does she want to kill the Metas in the city, she also wants to kill the Metas on the, in the entire planet. Why is it always the crazy ones that are so pretty? It's always the girls with the good looks that got to have the most mental problems. I mean, really. I mean, if she fixed up her hair and got rid of the weird head wound, she look as good as she did in the live action remake of Dead or Alive. I mean, she was hot. <laughs> now we find ourselves at Star Labs with Team Flash going over the specifications of the negative metahuman cure that Gracie is going to use in order to kill all metahumans. But one thing the Team Flash realizes is even though that she hasn't done it yet, she still needs some materials more than likely for her plan to go off. So in order to help every meta in the city, the team decides to distribute the cure, the actual cure, at CCPD. Hopefully Joe and Cecile can get through to Captain Singh. What I find most problematic about this is that Team Flash didn't even test the gun they plan to use on Cicada's dagger to see what happens until just now. Oh, this is going to be one of those risky moves that Team Flash does. For some reason, I do not feel too positive about this scenario. Luckily, Joe and Cecile get through to Captain Singh in order to get Captain Singh to set up CCPD as a metahuman safe haven for taking the cure. So while Captain Singh is at City Hall, he's decided to put Joe in charge. Could this be an implication of future actions? Maybe Joe's gonna be captain soon? Let's see. Well, the good thing is we see Sherlock meet up with his new little girlfriend, Renee, at CCU. At which point he was going to confront her and let her know that he knew about her powers. But before he can do that, Cicada 2 showed up. I swear, Gracie takes cock locking to a whole new level. Luckily, Sherlock alerted the team with his metahuman danger app in which everyone showed up. But the problem with that being, Gracie and Nora are still connected mentally. As they showed up, she left. But what's more problematic is, now Nora is showing effects of the red lightning still in her system. Well, it seems that the team learns that Cicada number two, aka Gracie, has stolen another part that's revolutionary new and still needs one more part that 
can help her complete her plan. And Sherlock, being the suave guy that he is, has propositioned himself to help Renee find some way to deal with Cicada coming after her and trying to kill her. But the biggest spoiler of all is knowing that Nora's red lightning isn't due to her negative emotions, is due to Cicada's negative emotions and the fact that they're still mentally linked. Well, at CCPD, Joe and Cecile are doing their best to keep the station and all the metahumans that are coming there to receive the cure under control. But after the news alert of Cicada 2 to down metahumans, Cecile gets a powerful mental emotion from her abilities and feeling that a large group of metahumans is about to enter the police department and boy do they come in numbers. Imagine if it wasn't a cure, imagine if it was a million dollars, boy that'd be even worse. Well, it seems Ralph's thinking process of the future comes in handy as he questions Nora about where they could find the last possible piece in the future is more than likely if they have it there in the future, it's already there in the present. After finding out where it's made and located, Barry rushes to the lab by himself and leaves Nora behind because of the connection that she has to Gracie and the possible effect of the red lightning. But the bad thing is, by the time he gets there, the conduit's already gone and Gracie tries to blow him up. For the fastest man alive, he's moving pretty slow this episode. At this point, I'm like Eobar Thawne. Run, Barry. Run. And now we have the biggest issue to occur in this whole episode. Gracie has all the components she needs in order to build a supercharged conductor. More than the normal one that she would have used to kill every meta in the city. So instead of killing every meta in the city, she's going for every meta in the country. But one thing that Team Flash isn't a paying attention to, and that's Ralph coming up with a theory that no one ever thought of about Cicada 1 and Cicada 2, both Orlin Dwyer and his niece Gracie. And not only the metas that he killed, but also the metas that she killed. Unfortunately, there's no time to think about that. This whole season, we've realized one thing. Nora is an idiot. And for some reason, I thought by now she would have learned her lesson. Now she's going behind Barry and Iris' back and using the neural link to help her find Cicada 2. While over at CCPD, all the metas that are waiting to be given the cure to are becoming more hostile and unstable, which is making Joe more likely to break down because he's not used to being captain. Well, it seems that both Barry and Iris have come into agreement that Nora's right. She's an adult. She can use her powers properly now due to their training. And if she feels that she can control her negative emotions when going into the going into the negative speed force, then they should trust her. Me, on the other hand, I still feel a little bit iffy about trusting Nora with her emotions. But it's at this point in Star Labs that Barry and Iris have taken Nora to the containment cell that they tried to use on a reverse flash in season one. Let's just hope this works more than anything. Back at CCPD, Joe has finally overcome his fear of being in charge and has addressed the public of metahumans and the CCPD and let them know that even though they're afraid that they can get through this as long as they work together and remain calm. 
It reminds me of the movie Leaning On Me, and Joe, I swear, reminds me so much of Morgan Freeman's character, Mr. Clark, in that movie. I like how the fact that black leading characters are more confident than anyone else in movies and television. Now we've made it to the highlight of this episode as we see Gracie and Nora interact mentally in which Gracie blames every last meta for what happens all over the country and to her family and that is the Flash's fault, Team Flash's fault, and Nora's fault as well for destroying the Flash satellite the Enlightenment satellite and starting off all the process of creating new metas and Meditech. At which point Nora gets the Red Lightning under control and finds out that Gracie's going to CCPD to set off the bomb. At this point Team Flash knows where the bomb is but they don't know where to put it or what to do with it until Barry comes up with the idea remember by the metahuman fallout in which Cisco can breach it to another earth which is a dead earth that won't affect anyone luckily they have the good notion to keep Nora behind as not to set off Gracie and take the de-atomizing gun with them in order to stop her dagger from siphoning off any more dark energy. Luckily, all the metas at CCPD are evacuated, leaving Joe alone to fight Cicada 2. But luckily for him, Barry and the team showed up ready to take on Gracie. Unfortunately, they can't touch or breach the bomb anywhere in fear of setting it off. So that means Cisco has to use his technical know-how in order to figure out a way to save the day. But during the fight with Team Flash, they see that Gracie really didn't need the dagger to dampen their powers as she didn't have it in the future. In which case, during the fight, she controls everything using her abilities. As the fight comes to a conclusion, we see that Gracie gets ready to destroy Cisco right after he disables the bomb, but is taken down by the Flash. It's at that moment that it hits Ralph, that his feelings about Thawne and his plans and his mental ingenuity are correct, as he realizes why Thawne is the way he is and what the possibility could be. And we see is that Thawne is ready to get executed. They pull off his chest plate in which you see Cicada's dagger embroidered across his chest, dampening his powers. At which point, Ralph has only seconds to try to stop Barry and Sisko from destroying the dagger. But unfortunately, my friends, this is where the episode ends. Well, Wise Crack Nation, this has been some penultimate episode before the last episode of the season. Who would have thought that Ralph would have had Thawne figured out before anybody else? We all knew that Thawne was dirty and cal calculating, but to think that far ahead? Oh man, Nora, you really messed up. She pulled a perfect berry, being smart and stupid at the same time. Well, like we said, like father, like daughter. But for right now, I'm going to go back into the Speed Force and get ready for next, next week's last episode of the season. Wise Crack Nation, what you could do for me right now? is go ahead and answer the poll question that I'm going to leave on the card at the top of the screen. I want to know how you all feel about this episode and what you think it's going to lead to. So go ahead and drop a comment as well. But hey, if you drop a comment, be sure to like, share, and subscribe because you never know what could happen on this channel. And please, please, I ask you to go check out my friends at the 450 Legion gaming page. 
I know, I know they're talkative, they're loud, and they're kind of crazy, but hey, they're good guys. As so for right now, I'm going to get out of here. So do me a favor. Be wise and crack hard, people. You know how it is. Peace. <laughs>